You up there, man? Oh, okay. Yeah, brother, you know, like I said, I wanted to touch on uh, your team this year, the Buffalo Bills, man. I see you had a couple of, you know, some key additions, you know, to your team, that mm-hmm. being uh, defensive end Mario Williams and also the recently signed quarterback, uh, Vince Young. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about your, your team's chances this year with those additions as well as, you know, some of the uh, the, the rookies that you guys drafted in the uh, NFL draft this year? Yeah, man, I'm excited. Like, straight okay. up, man, I'm I'm excited, man, about, about any team that I'm on, man. I feel like, you know, regardless you know, what the ratings may be, what the media may say, man, or whatever team I'm on, yeah. man, we have the best team in the NFL. Right now, with okay. the, I mean, as, as well as as well as they did last year, you know, the last two years I was with the Carolina Panthers, so it's my first year on the team with uh with Buffalo. Right. But I mean, I mean, they they started off to a great start last year, five and zero. Um, exactly. You know, and, and did some did some great things offensively and de- defensively. You know, a lot of things kind of slowed down a bit when they uh when the team started getting uh a lot of injuries. But um right. But with the team we have now, with Mario, the addition to um, Vince, um, the defense, they have everybody coming back defensively, everybody coming back offensively. Yeah. You know, they just signed yeah. Stevie Johnson um, to a right. great deal. So I think, man, I think we have a team that really, I think we have the perfect team to do what we need to do to make it to the playoffs mm-hmm. and make a trip to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, not just wow. to have a season that's done and over with. I hear you, man. You know, because, like I, you know, like, like I said, I, I thought you guys did very well in the beginning, you know. But just as you said, you have certain guys coming back from uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you just signed one of the best, you know, pass rushers in the game today, you know. So I, I see you guys really competing in the AFC East, to be honest. I really do. You know, so, yeah. you know, those aspirations that you have, you know, they might not seem as far-fetched as, as other media, you know, may think. You're right. You know? One yeah, second I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I, can, I, can tell, I can tell in your voice, man. I can tell in your voice, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm, ready, I'm ready for training camp to kick off so we can start the preseason already, and we still got another oh, three, four man. months to start. Let me, let me tell you something. With that type of optimism, man, I'm sure it will carry you over to your teammates, man. And you never know, man. You could be raising that, that, that uh, Vince Lombardi uh, trophy at the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Who knows? I might be holding that up at the end of the year. <laughs> hey, that would be a beautiful thing, man. Take back down home to Florida, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? I want the Bills to win, man, so we can laugh at Jets fans. Everybody getting it with them. <laughs> That's what <it's> about. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be pretty dope to get back at the Jets, being that I was with them my first three and a half years in the league. Oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? Speaking of that team, man, what do you? Let me ask you a question. What do you think about that Tebow situation, man? I mean, I mean, personally, I mean, like I said, it, I really don't care about it. You know, I mean, yeah. it's, okay. you know, the, the, the coaching staff they have a great coaching staff there, and Rex Ryan, okay. um, Mike, you know, Mike Tannenbaum, the GM, is a great guy. You know, for whatever reasons mm-hmm. they got him, you know, they felt that he was going to be able to help the team, and uh, I'm pretty sure he is, man. He's a, he's a hell of an athlete. You know, there's not too much that he can't do, you know, but uh, okay. having him there as a backup, you know, especially with Sperano, their offensive coordinator, he's the guy that pretty much set off the Wildcat package for the Dolphins. Right. So uh, right. I can see them using Tim Tebow, you know, very heavy when it comes down to that, you know, that specific package. But, uh, you know, like I said, whatever it takes to win, man, you're going to do anything you can to bring anybody in. And, uh, you yeah. know, hopefully, you know, Tim Tebow will be successful out there. Okay. Okay. So I hear you, man. You know, um, I wanted to go back to the, uh, your foundation for a second because I saw something uh, that you, you uh, recently took a trip to Haiti, <clears throat> okay, and to provide uh, relief for, you know, after the uh, the ability to debilitating uh, earthquake that was out there. What was your experience out there? Oh, man. <laughs> Man, that trip, that trip to Haiti was was breathtaking, man. It was uh, yeah. it was really breathtaking. It was uh, it really made you appreciate like the small things that we don't pay attention to, you know. I yes. mean, just little things like water and soap. And for females, like as a man, I never even thought about this, but uh, 
Like we took yeah. a bunch of clothes out there. We stayed out there for a couple of days. Me and my uh, my ex teammate James Ahedabo, who uh, was starting for the Patriots last year. I mean, we took a bunch of clothes out there, a bunch of food. I mean, right. we we and we took everything we can. But in my mind, it never crossed my mind to buy tampons. Not wow. once. Not once wow. did it ever cross my mind. And for a female, you know, yeah. like I. I bought, I mean, I think I spent over $1,000 just on water to ship over there to the families and, right. you know, and the kids and the orphanages. But I never thought that, okay, there are little girls out here, 12, 13, 14, you know, 15, 16 years old that mm-hmm. need tampons. Like it, and it's little things like that that a lot of people don't think about that are a are, 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 are big necessity to, you right. know, to specific families. So, uh, but like I said, it was breathtaking. We were able to go out there, like I said, donate a bunch of food. Um, Wycliffe's uh, wife um, was pretty mm-hmm. much in charge of everything with Yelly Haiti, and uh, we worked with her the entire week um, being in, in Haiti, and uh, we had a great experience, man. It was, it was an awesome experience. Like I said, it was definitely mm-hmm. breathtaking, and it makes me really appreciate the things that we have, just small things, just like lotion, man. It's just it's amazing. Like, like you, you had families and babies sleeping outside in tents. So, uh, oh, while, while being out there, I can uh, definitely admit, man, I, I came to tears on, on, on several several different trips. Um, it, it definitely at the orphanage. We got to the orphanage, and uh, the kids were singing to us. Uh, oh, yeah, they were singing, yeah. They were, they, were, they were singing in Haiti, I mean, excuse me, in Creole. And um, uh-huh. and when the instructors of the orphanage were translating, they basically were saying, don't worry about us. We're going to be okay. God, God have our back. Oh, man. So that, 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 wow. that really, that really, brought, you know, it really gave me tears of joy, man, and just kind of touched me. Yeah, so, yeah of course. It, man, it, it, awesome. it was, like I said, man, it was, it, it was a lot for me when I went out there. But like I said, it was a great experience. It was a great right. experience. I was happy to go out there and do as much as I could to help out the families and the kids out there. Man, that's 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 awesome, man. I'm not even gonna lie, that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? So, oh man, I'm gonna see if my man Mac has any uh, other questions for you, brother. Yeah, Mac, can y'all hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? yeah. yeah. Okay, you hear yeah. me clearly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, David, I wanted to ask you with, with what's going on with the uh Oh, somebody's fading out. With, with, with the concussion is, problem. Yeah. Say it again. Um, with what's going on with the concussion problems? Um, how do you feel about the league the league stance on that and, and the precautions that they're they're trying to take? I mean, I know they're gonna do everything they can to try to uh stop the whole concussion issue throughout the NFL. Those were, that was one of the big deals with uh um the commissioner kind of setting a file on lunging for head-to-head contact. Um, I think, you know, I think he got a little out of control with the $50,000 for head-to-head uh, fines. But, um, cause, you know, we, I mean, we still have to feed our families, man. $50,000 out of anybody's pocket. I don't care how much you make is a lot of money. Um, mm. But but I, I, I know the, the league now, especially with everything going on with the past players, such as, a, you know, a good friend, a good personal friend of mine, Jamal Lewis, he is going through this state now. If you caught the yeah. ESPN uh, series that they had, how he was just losing, you know, it is his memory loss just from them asking him questions. So, uh, you know, I know, I know they're going to do everything they can to try to make sure that we are able to play this game as fast and as, as fast as possible, but at the same time as physical as possible and as safely as possible. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I've never had a concussion myself personally, so I, I can't – you know, personally say what these guys are going through that have received concussions and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the backlash is on them. But, like I said, I, I know everything's going to work out. You know, this is America's game, America's favorite game, and we're going to do everything we can to protect our players and make sure that, you know, we have long, extensive careers and make sure that the game continues. You know, you can't – if you stop football, you know, it was almost a riot just from the lockout. So I can just imagine them shutting it down just because <laughs> they felt it was unsafe, because they feel it might be unsafe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, David, how can uh, how can people if they want to reach you? Um, Big R posted in the chat in the chat room. He posted your address for your for your foundation. How can they reach you if they want to reach you um, to talk to you about your charitable foundation um, and the name? I have, also? Uh, I, have, I have I have two websites. Um, my personal website is uh, davidclowney87 dot com. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go on there. There's an ash tab. Um, basically, the ash tab comes 
straight to my uh, my my fan mail, and I reply to everybody okay. personally myself. So anybody that you know that sends me any messages on my personal website, I I will be right. replying personally. Um, also, you can go on my foundation page, which is uh, davidclownyfoundation.com. You can get all kind of updates on uh, past and future events, um, on what's going on with the David County Foundation, the different uh, fundraising mm-hmm. events we may have, or, you know, just like, you know, the celebrity basketball game and the football camp coming up. So, uh, so but those two websites, davidclowny87.com and davidclownyfoundation.com, definitely you can go on there and uh, send me any type of message you want, and I will be the one replying personally to every last one of them. Uh, that's great, man. Uh, that's great. That's great. That's great. You know? Oh yeah. I you know what I I just wanna say, man, once again, man, you know, from from all of us here, man, in the paint, you know, we wanna thank you, you know what I'm saying, for for your time and, and wish you well with your, you know, foundation. And I hope your team, the Buffalo Bills, has great success <laughs> you know, for this year in the twenty twelve NFL season, but I really I really mean that, man, you know. Is your class? Guy, I appreciate man. that, yeah. big time. You know? I appreciate it. And, and, and anytime you, I wish you, anytime you want to come back and, and talk to us or just tune in or whatever, it'd be greatly appreciated, man. Because like I said, you're a man of of class, brother. Really. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. You know? 